chance. Just another live thing here. Dr. Mamba is doing some coloring on my head. Those red spots here. Those red spots here. It's something like a from the you mean from before the bear transplant? Yeah. Uh, mm. I don't know if you can see like a red pink spot there. You, not that thing. That's just a little ink on here. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. There's. I think that's from the beer transplant. Beer transplant. Yeah. That you did last time. There's some just little little kind of dots, yeah. So when do we do the surgery? Because it gets like this. What's that? Uh, when did we do the surgery? Um, I think he almost two years ago. Almost two years. Yeah, almost two years ago. I only noticed it if I kind of pull my skin like that. Mm -hmm. Usually I never shave, like, ever. <laughs> I don't even know what my face looks like. <laughs> I'm always a little disappointed when I find out. Oh, there you go. Oh, this might be interesting for you guys to see. So that's, a, that's my beard under a microscope.
So what are you thinking as you look at this talking model? Uh, I'm thinking like I was a little bit surprised like because uh, you have tendency of uh, uh, hyperpigmented on the area where we took the beer. Mm. So the thing will be like maybe like at the beginning after we finish it's, it's, it will be good like for the next six months. Like when you go out of the sun, you mm. put like a little bit uh, uh, the sunscreen? UV blocker. Okay, yeah. so I put the sunscreen there. Okay. UV blocker just for the beginning until everything will heal like by six okay. months. So because it's like look like a little bit pigmented. Okay. Let's see. Do you think that was that was because I didn't use sunscreen? Yeah. Because sometimes like when you have uh, like the sun can stimulate the with the melanocyte. Because okay. like when we remove the beard, sometimes you have those melanocytes that can be stimulated by, by the UV light. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, I, that probably was what it was. I don't think I've really put sunscreen down there at all. I didn't really think about it because I was thinking, well, what's on my beard, you know? Doesn't feel good because you have now. Gonna remove some of these to rebuild. I'll sit here and then I'm gonna mix the beard a little bit all over the places. Okay, awesome. Okay, let that me, sounds great. Let me just check now with Karine. Okay. So, uh, it will give you, of course, the medication, okay. painkiller, and all these things. What are, we, what are we doing? So, it's not the um, nitrous oxide like last time? No, okay. we don't have okay, that don't here. Have here. So, this is like Valium or something? Uh, we will see. We, will, we have Valium, but maybe we will. Uh, Karin will start, and if you need something, we will, we will see. Okay. I like Valium. You like Valium? It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> okay, I we'll never turn down a Valium. Uh, well, I would in a non-medical situation, but uh, it's for medicine, guys. For medical practice. Uh, I don't take Valium just for fun, just FYI. Yeah, I guess I get hypopigmentation on my neck. Yeah, actually, to be honest, it does look worse than it even did before. Can you guys see? So, if I, especially if I stretch it out like that, you can definitely see the beard scars there. If I don't stretch it, I don't think it's very noticeable. But if I stretch it, especially on the right side, interesting enough, it's not as noticeable on the left side. But on the right side there, we can see. That's the hyperpigmentation from the beard transplant. Interesting. I usually don't even shave this, so it's not something that I really notice. Um, but yeah, I shaved today for the surgery, so. Anyway, I should have worn more sunscreen. Darn it. Why are you getting another hand transplant? Um, I'm going to hand. Thanks for the dedication. <laughs> Thanks, DB. Awesome. Yeah, so when we get another hair transplant, uh, why not, guys? Why not? Um, yeah, because I guess because I can. <laughs> like that's all, because uh, I can, and I want my hair to look even better. Like why not? Um, yeah, the thing is that I'm actually pretty happy with my hair. Like I really am. Like I was great with my hair yesterday. I thought it looked great um, before I shaved it all off. But for me, I guess I've kind of gotten to the point that I'm just like, why not just?